What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about long legs in this video here today. So we got a trailer for long legs a few weeks ago and one of you asked me to do a video talking about long legs even further now that the trailer has dropped. And before I go any further, I do want to go over the plot synopsis or at least the description of what we can expect in this movie. So as I mentioned in my previous video, FBI agent Lee Harker is assigned to an unsolved serial killer case that takes an unexpected turn, revealing evidence of the occult. Harker discovers a personal connection to the killer and must stop him before he strikes again now we know this is the upcoming Oz Perkins film and Neon has confirmed some stuff that I mentioned in my last video thanks to their marketing campaign more specifically about the Horn family and what's going on with that type of mess in the film they also confirmed the importance of the date November 14th that I referenced in my last video during the recent marketing campaign as well over on their Twitter page I'm mostly going to go over what's happening with Nick Cage's character since he's the killer and how this is backed up in the trailer I pointed out before that there's a twist with this killer but Nick Cage already revealed it in 2022 now regardless if it should have been said or not it was made clear what's happening thanks to this trailer nick's words and other rumors that i've had shared with me now nick is playing a man allegedly named Cobalt. cobalt he worships the devil and is a geppetto like character cage previously revealed this geppetto like character thing back in 2022 when he said this following comment to john carpenter he said i'm working with oz perkins who you probably know He's pretty strong in the horror genre at the moment, but he's actually Anthony Perkins' son. He's done some really good movies. Gretel and Hansel was terrific. Long Legs is about a character who's hearing voices. It's kind of like a possessed Geppetto who's making these dolls. Now, here's the thing. The usage of the word possessed lines up with this man worshiping Satan. Plus, there's that weird book in the trailer called, I think, The Nine Circles of Hell. The hearing voices line matches up with some of the teasers where it sounds like someone is whispering she's not my daughter or something to that effect. Geppetto though is the biggest thing. I'm sure we all know the story of Pinocchio and how Geppetto was a puppeteer aka puppet master if you will. Well thanks to Cage's description of the role and with the newly released trailer it's obvious what is happening. I put up a tweet saying pay attention to this man in the grass when the trailer drops. The reason being is because the trailer gave you many quick looks at Nick as Coble. Now Coble seems to have a very elderly look to him, has gray hair, looks a little bit like a bum. <laughs> and I'm pointing that out because the man in the trailer with the axe or in the grass doesn't look like Nick. There's also a moment where a woman takes an axe from behind, I believe, and that man holding the axe doesn't look like Nick doing the swinging. So what's going on? Well, knowing the story of Geppetto and seeing the, the trailer makes it safe to correctly assume Nick's character isn't the one doing any of the physical killings, but is making others do these terrible acts. In fact, there's a moment in the trailer where it looks like Cobalt is being interrogated. And based on what I've heard, allegedly he becomes hard to find guilty due to the lack of evidence surrounding him, which makes sense because Cobalt isn't physically harming anyone. And the marketing also has been pointing out that every year a new occurrence is happening. So these killings have seem seemingly been going on for, I would assume a decade at this point, maybe cu a couple of decades. And they keep on occurring with no explanation, but Cobalt is gonna be at the center of it all. Because going off of the trailer, going off of Nick Cage's comments, there's no way he's doing any of the physical killing if he is indeed a Geppetto-like character. Geppetto was a puppet master. And in the trailer, we see individuals wandering into the grass and he gets on his knees, I think, almost in a, in a I don't know what I'm doing, I'm not in control of my body type of way. A sunken place vibe, if you will. So Nick Cage is the puppet master and he's having others commit these terrible acts. I think there's one instance where we might be seeing Nick Cage doing something heinous to someone. But other than that, these instances of violence occurring, they don't look like Cobble or Nick Cage. There's no gray hair. They, they look like rather, rather young men. And it also brings us back to the, to the Horn family. So if Cage's character is a Geppetto-like character, that lets us know what happens to the Horn family. Something involving some sort of possession with one of the members of the family, most likely. And the whole entire family got knocked off, and that's how they ended up dead. Cobble is not physically performing anything beyond 
making people do these terrible things. So that's why they probably were going to struggle to build a case against him in this movie, because the only thing he's guilty of is worshiping Satan. And as far as I know, worshiping Satan isn't a crime. And then with no evidence surrounding that you're the one doing the killing, it becomes rather interesting that you're being interrogated. So did he turn himself in? And if so, why is he turning himself in? And how are they supposed to prove anything against this man when there's no evidence that he's committing any of the heinous acts? And then it also becomes rather challenging if nobody believes in possession if there's no evidence to back up that these people are indeed possessed and it's just him trying to take credit for sick acts because you're going to have these people I'm, I'm pretty sure there might be some sort of material in the movie where one party is in belief that he's doing it because of their religious backgrounds or their religious upbringings and then another party is not believing he's doing it and that he's just trying to capitalize because he's a sick individual because they didn't have a religious background or a religious upbringing they might be atheists if you will very interesting things that could play out here because there's no evidence to show that Koble is doing the killings but what did you guys think about the trailer the movie I believe is supposed to drop on July 12th uh it's coming out in July I could have the date wrong but it's coming out in July this year the trailer looks very intense looks very atmospheric looks like it's going to be another banger from Oz Perkins and I hope I enjoy it I really enjoyed what I saw from him with the Black Colt's daughter, and this movie looks like it's going to be very entertaining. It looks like Nick Cage is going to probably give one of my favorite performances of the year. Uh, Micah looks like she's going to do an amazing job. She looks very pretty in the trailer as well. Just throwing that comment out there. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Like never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video